Good day. I'm in Australia. <laughs> Do you think I'm out of a drink problem? Mmm, <laughs> Chardonnay. Now, uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, I need a bit of help finding my next guest. Oh, look, everyone, it's Biddy, the bush kangaroo. <laughs> What? What's that, Biddy? What's that? What? The park ranger? The park ranger? He did what, Biddy? Ah, uh, he put his donger in your dunny. <laughs> oh, sweet, Biddy. Uh, were you torn? Oh, no, it's not as bad as it sounds. Uh, <laughs> because my next guest's already torn. Yes, she's an actress, a singer. She's the pride of Australia. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Natalie Imbruglia. <laughs> Betty, you can take the head off now. <laughs> <laughs> Betty the bush guy. Hi, Betty. Oh, Hi, Betty, Betty, guess she's waving. Hi. There you go. <laughs> so it's all about her. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> now, so you are, you've been away, but my God, yes. you're, you're back big time. Uh, new album, White Lily's Island. Yes. And new single, Wrong Impression. Mm -hmm. Now, the 12 songs mm -hmm. on the album, <laughs> four years. I know. <laughs> I know. Was it a lot of shopping? It looks, and... <laughs> it looks bad, doesn't it? No. I did take, I took a year off. I moved out to Windsor and took a bit of time off because I was a bit freaked out about going straight back in and, and also because of the pressure. I was really, really depressed a lot of the time <laughs> and I was single as well. So there's all that, you know. Stop. Sudden stampede. <laughs> <laughs> Actually single. Except there wasn't one. No, but well, you <laughs> look at them. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> now, uh, famously, of course, uh, neighbours, and I do love, oh, I do love the neighbours. Yeah. No, we do. I, I still, I still love it. And oh no. No, I just have to. Whenever um, you turn around there, I'm like, don't oh, know what's no, going. no, no, no. I, I just, I, um, I, I can't thank this woman enough, book. Josephine Monroe. Top author wrote <laughs> Neighbors there? the first ten years. <laughs> I must be in there then. You are because I went to the tenth anniversary, so I'm sure I'm Look, there. there you're on the very last page. Oh my goodness, look at that. Looking very happy. But now you weren't shagging him, were you? No. No, you just shared a house with him. Everyone else though, I see towards the end I kind of did Ramsey Street. <gasps> you, did. <laughs> um, you did, didn't you? Yes. But it seemed I don't think I, it seemed a bit unlikely, it seemed a bit unlikely, in terms of a storyline, that you were cast as, <laughs> particularly in Australia, you were cast as a female oh. builder. Um, <laughs> look at that. Look how chubby my cheeks are. Yes, you're fat as a fool in that picture, <laughs> Natalie. <laughs> uh, yeah. oh. <laughs> what were they, th I still can't get my head around it. What were they thinking with the building thing? Um, I think they were actually trying to do a Charlene because, you know, she was a mechanic and she was really popular, Kylie's character. Yeah. So they were like, oh, well, you know, builder, kind of similar. But you said mechanic, a bit of grease on the chairs. Yeah, tinkering. I know. That's quite sexy. That's a bit more sexy. Wheelbarrow, cement mixer, not, not quite so sexy. sexy. <laughs> I know. No. I actually quite liked it, though, because I'd rather have played more of a tomboy character than a girly girl, you know. Fair so enough. I, I quite liked it. And, and that... For instance, now with Kylie and things, is is there a kind of rivalry between you or no? A... Actually, I'm a huge Kylie fan. I I love Kylie. Oh, no, no, I like Kylie too. The only thing I thought is she kind of annoyed because you've done what she's always wanted to do. You know what I mean? You have broken America. I don't think she'd be annoyed at all. She's her career is booming right now. I don't think she'd be annoyed at all. Fair enough. We'll ask her. <laughs> <laughs> now. Uh, before, oh, here we go. Before everything else, uh, you've done ads and things, haven't you? Yes. No. I'm intrigued to know what the hell you're advertising there, Nashley. <laughs> Should I explain? Go on, I want to buy some. OK. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's actually nothing to do with the bucket. It's the T-shirt I'm wearing says twisties, and they're like... Good they're photograph. These really... <laughs> I know. <laughs> they're these cheesy, um, crispy things. 
I'm trying to think. I think you've got those, what are they called here? Twisty, cheesy things. They're like long. Cheese twists. Cheese twists. A man has really followed that through. Well done. I don't know what they're called, but you've got something similar. I like that. The twisty, the cheesy. The cheese twists. <laughs> Oh, well, maybe you can get them here, because we thought you might miss them. So, um, I try, I got you some. You've actually... You know, I love twisties. I'm actually addicted to twisties and Tim Tams. There's... Oh, 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 Tim Tams I have. You've got T Tim Tams. Tim Tams, chewy caramel Tim Tams. Caramel ones. Got you those. I don't think I've tried caramel ones. <gasps> they weren't around when I lived in Australia. Oh, time's moved on. These are amazing. <laughs> have you heard about... There's a thing called a Tim Tam explosion. Oh. <laughs> Oh, I'd love it if you try it. What happens? It's orgasmic. OK, let's but, try it. Then. But you need a hot cup of tea. Is there a hot cup of... Could we get Hello? a hot cup of tea? We'll get you one. OK, OK. Yeah. Someone's got to get a hot cup of tea. So you hang on to your Tim Tams. Right. You hang on to your Tim Tams and I'll keep... Because we, we found some other things that you can get... That Australia, Australians love these, apparently. Um, a violet crumble. Violet crumbles! <laughs> They're good, aren't they? Oh, the national pride in here tonight. <laughs> Violet crumbles! <laughs> is this some sort of Australian joke? This is so weird that you can buy these. <laughs> and this is slightly political, slightly, slightly right on, you know, political for this show. Uh, in Australia, you can go into a shop and buy Afghans. <laughs> so do buy them and send them to that place in... <laughs> send them to that place in Cuba, the prison camp, because they contain... The delicious taste of home. <laughs> <laughs> and, oh, we have hot tea. Let me just get some hot oh, tea. Fantastic. Oh, marvellous. Is it tea? It is. Oh, it's tea. I prefer coffee, but for the purposes <laughs> of the explosion. Uh, so, so this is now. Talk us through this. OK. It's a Tim Tam explosion. explosion. Do you know about the Tim Tam? Yeah, see? It's a cult thing. So, so what do you do? OK, so you bite off... Are we both going to do it? I think we should. Okay. <laughs> I think this is going to get everywhere. Oh, bugger. It doesn't matter. All right. OK. So, um... You get your tea. Actually, this, this, to... this suit is so stained already. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was clean when I put it on last <laughs> night. <laughs> I don't know what happens. <laughs> you wear it once in a club and look at it. I don't clap. Sorry, no, no. Okay. Come on, come on, come on, focus, everyone. So, you have to bite off the top corner. Like that. OK. Bitten. And then okay. diagonally the other corner. Do you have television in Australia? <laughs> <laughs> How bored were you with a lot of this? Right. <laughs> okay. Very. Okay. There you go. Okay. Okay. And now you're going to use it like a straw, and you're going to drink the tea. And when when you start to feel the tea come up the biscuit and it touches your lips, you quickly, because it's going to melt, turn it around and put it in your mouth, and that's when it gets orgasmic. Okay. Oh my God. So so. <laughs> <laughs> Ready? <Ooh. laughs> okay. Okay. Should we do it together? On. Okay. Television is such a limited medium. I can't. Isn't it? That was fantastic. I've never done it with a caramel one. Really? <laughs> <laughs> well, it beats onion rings on your cock. <laughs> that was delicious. It's good, isn't it? Mmm.